Hello guys, in this video, I'm just going to explain how to live stream your mobile gaming to Facebook gaming, not on your timeline, but on your Facebook page. A lot of people are commenting in my previous video, how to live stream to Facebook page, not on the timeline. So it's very easy. So go to Facebook gaming. Okay. You need to log in with your account. This is the profile icon. So we need to tap it. A lot of people are doing mistakes by selecting this page here. This is just dashboard. You can check the status and what are the levels you have and you can check your latest streams here but in order to directly live stream to facebook page what you need to do is going back so here write that facebook live icon so we need to tap this and here right you need to add a game already i have added game among us call of duty and etc even i have added ps2 games so if you want to add a game right just add it you can add whatever the app you want or the game so going back even directly live stream your phone screen also. But in this video, I'm just going to tell about the game. Okay, fine. Here, right, I'm going to choose the game first. We need to tap this Facebook live icon. So here you can see this option, set up your stream. So we need to tap this, set up your stream. Or before that, you can just uh, start the game. So here comes a pain I have started. I will minimize it. If you want to add the controller also, you can add it. Okay, game is started now. So now we need to tap this set up your stream. Before we start this live, select if you want to allow the comment, enable it. And if you want to enable the camera, just allow it. Camera is started here. And if you want to allow the microphone, just enable it. And if you want to disable it, right, you can disable it. If the strike is there, then it is disabled. If you want to enable it, you can enable it. Fine. So camera is added. I'm going to move it. Now by default, the timeline is showing. So we need to change this timeline. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I need to tap on this select audience. Just select the audience and do not click anything here. Only me, all friends or public because this will work only on timeline. So a lot of people are doing the mistakes by selecting this. What they will do, you know, uh, first, we will change the uh, Facebook page. So we need to tap the switch to page. And here you can select your page. For example, the test two is a video gaming creator page. So I'm going to select it. It's selected. So after that, just enter the descriptions. WWE, here comes the pain. First, I will copy this. Copy. Okay, done. If you want to live stream into privately, so if you're trying to change, that will not work out. So for example, I'm going to change this to only me. Automatically, our timeline is selected. That is the issue. So just select the audience and go to switch to page. Here you can select the page. Select the page here. Facebook gaming page is selected. Then tap go live. Start recording or casting with Facebook gaming. Start now. Super cool. You can see this live icon. So you can keep it here. So live streaming is started perfectly. And even my camera is there. Here you can adjust the size of your camera. So I'm going to just, there is a circle, right? We need to just tap it. So you can see the size has changed. Again, I'm going to tap the circle. Again, circle. So you can adjust the size of your camera. And if you want to make any changes, just tap live and go to the settings. Here you can see this camera is already enabled. If you want to turn it off, you can turn it off. Microphone also, you can turn it off, even for the comments. But I'm going to enable everything here. Closing it. So this is for this menu. You can go back and you can change the game as well. So I'm going to close this. And the camera is already on. Closing the live. Even right for this game, you can add the controller. So in order to add the controller, right? If you're using DualShock controller, so in order to bring it to pairing mode, I need to press this PS button and share button all together for some seconds until it blinks. The light bar should be blinking like this. So once it started blinking, I can, so I'm going to just open it. Trying to pair it. Yes, it's found. So I'm going to choose this available devices. So this is the controller. Pair it. 
So if you call and successfully pad, now I can use the controller. Now I'm going to verify on my another mobile. So on this Facebook page, I'm going to verify this menu and pages. I'm live streaming to test to right Facebook gaming page. So I'm going to tap it. Yes, the live streaming is started. Here you can see that. So it is in public as well. See, Facebook live streaming is started and working perfectly. So now I'm able to perfectly live streaming to Facebook page. So if you want to stop it, right, you can stop this. Tap on this live icon. And just stop it. That is a stop button, right? Stop it. Yes. Your live stream has stopped. So that's it, friends. Hope this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please put the comments and feedbacks. Media from. Thank you. Bye and take care.